Good day. My name is Uguchiku Kwebu. I am a session lead with the ALX Udastic Cloud Developer Nano Degree Program. And in this video, I'll be doing a walkthrough of project one, deploy static websites on AWS. All right, so. All right, so um, as always, we begin with the project instructions. And um, here on my screen is the project overview. Uh, the cloud is a perfect, the, the cloud is perfect for hosting static websites that only include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that require no server side processing. The whole project has two major intentions to implement hosting a static website on S3 and accessing the cached website pages using CloudFront content delivery network CDN service. Recall that CloudFront offers low latency and high transfer speeds during website rendering. All right, of course, um, every scholar has access to this um, dashboard with the project instructions. So we just get right onto it and read through. And um, the, the prerequisites for the project are an AWS account and um, student ready starter code download and unzip this file. So um, if we click this, uh, we have immediate access to the Udacity um, starter website zip. So of course you get here and then you download this to your local environment and then you work with the files. Um, I have already downloaded this and um, I have them in this directory, right? So um, basically that's, that's what I have, what the Udacity startup website is what I have in my directory and I'm ready to go, right? So I urge you to do the same and um, we'll get to it. Okay, so download and unzip the file. The topics covered S3 bucket creation, S3 bucket configuration, website distribution via CloudFront, and then we're going to access the website via a web browser. Okay, so um, the first thing we do is we create the static website. Uh, we navigate to the management console. So I'm going to launch my cloud gateway here to I uh that gives me all right so so the first step uh let me get back to the instruction screens just take this off is that um, we create an S3 bucket right Okay, so let's go back there. So I click here. That's the S3 service. Then I create a bucket. I can give this a bucket. Uh, let's call this static website and give it a uh, Give me that name, a unique bucket name. Uh, then here we are asked to uncheck this, right? It's in the uh, it's in the instructions. Is this an instruction? Yeah, uncheck the block all public access, right? So I'll check that. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to acknowledge this, um, accept default settings, and then create the bucket. Okay, so um, bucket successfully created. Uh, this is the bucket I just created. 
So uh, I click into it. All right, so once the bucket is created, we click it to access the bucket. So next thing we do is to upload files to the S3 bucket. So basically we have different options for putting the, uh, the, the files to S3 bucket. I click add files. Um, I go where I have. So I click upload um, the files I want to upload. Uh, I really don't need the readme file, but I'll just upload everything. Uh, those are files and project uh, folders. I need that CSS folder. Yes, upload. The image folder, upload. The vendor folder, upload. So I have all those. Uh, these are the things I need. Then I click the upload button So um, based on your internet speed, the upload can, uh, the time that it takes to complete upload can vary. Uh, but while it's uploading, you can view the upload progress. You can see from here that uh, right now, 1,540 files remain to be uploaded. Uh, start on 24% of files uploaded, and the um, estimated time is six minutes. So in actual practice, it takes much it takes longer than that. So it takes about uh, 25 to 30 minutes to complete the upload. And we can still monitor the upload progress. We can see the vendor folder status is succeeded. That's uh, been uploaded successfully. License or text as uploaded successfully. And uh, while uh, these other um, files and folders are status of spending. Right, so while this is happening, let's see um, what are we even uploading, right? Normally, development process is um, as a developer, you have your local environments. For me, my local environment is my PC. And um, that's where you can work on your files, write your code, test things out. And once things are satisfactory, you can upload it to your server. Uh, in our case, the code you're working on is starter code. So it's been pretty much bundled and prepared for us. And um, uh, it's on my local environment. And our server, in this case, is S3 bucket, right? So uh, the requirements of this project is 
pretty much take the starter code, uh, set up a box S3 bucket, do the next three configurations, and then upload to S3 buckets, and then uh, configure cloud front, right? So um, in my local environment, let me try and see what these files look like. Uh, my own local environment, I use Laragon. So we have set that up and um, I said, this is my project directory. So to access it, I go to, uh, let's say browser. Pretty much like local host. Uh, that Linux. Okay, so um by the time we come this so this is my local environment as you can see i have it uh let's see if i can bring this screen out a little bit I can minimize that screen all right so we have that right so minimized This is when we're done. This is what our the cyber upload into S three um, S three looks like, right? Uh, it's that's the school of cloud computing, the homepage, and the travel blog. So if we look at this, the, the directory structure of the website, what's it? What's the, what? What is the website? All right, so basically, it's pretty much summary from the index page, right? And uh, Images, this image is going to be somewhere here. Okay, that's it here. This one page image is back here. That's what's here. And uh, then we'll now have our CSS file, which is pretty much a number of things there. And then uh, a vendor folder, too, which has the other uh, files that enable our website to serve optimally or to look good. Uh, Want to um, kind of see the whole structure of our website? So, want to look at it maybe in our kind of local environment, PS code. Uh, you can come here still and then uh, get into it and look at. Okay, let's see. Okay, so upload is happening gradually. All files are being updated here. So in a VS Code environment, this is what our code looks like. Or what we do. Content of our static website this is what it looks like, and this is our um, index page. Pretty much, that's a that's the school of cloud computing there, and this is what renders. This is what we expect to see when our uh, website is uh, fully uploaded to S three. And then we complete all our settings. So, like I said, this is going to take about 30 minutes, right? So, the estimated time range, 23 minutes remaining. Um, 
com esse com o estado de saúde dos dos adolescentes Eu será mesmo a pena que ele é que está usando toda a força subsidiária. So basically, it's going to take uh, 20 minutes or more for just uploading. And um, we need to take a break here now, and I'll be back once it's uploaded, right? So I'm going to keep you just here watching uh, just an upload status of about 20 minutes. But um, when I come back to continue this video, probably I'll do that one in about 20 minutes' time, right? So just make sure you have good internet access, files will upload everything successfully, and then we can continue this configuring our. Um, S3 buckets, just pretty much following the instructions. I think um, so we're going to have something like this, and then the next step will be to secure the bucket where I am, then configure the S3 buckets, and then distribute via uh, cloud, cloud points. All right, so um, that's the end of this part, the first part, right? Uploading contents to our bucket. I'll be back when uh, our files are uploaded and then continue the remaining parts of this project. So uh, thank you very much. My name is Mojo. We this session lead with the Udacity, ELX Udacity Cloud Developer Analytic Group Program. I'll be back in the next part of this video walkthrough where we are deploying a static website on AWS. Thank you very much.